Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? We're, I'm with my buddy John. I haven't seen him for a couple weeks. And we're here to review Fun House. Um, it's a fun house. Oh, fun. oh shit. Let me go back. Okay. It's a fun house. I mean, at first when I saw that, well, it caught my tip of the title. And I know that Tubi TV did remake uh, Terror Train, the sequel to and they were, well, they're both awful. I thought maybe it was a remake of Fun House. I remember seeing Dark Ride liking that. And um, I think they did a remake of uh, of April Fool's Day, too. I can't remember who was in that one. Maybe. But I mean, I thought it was a remake of Fun House. I didn't know. Okay. See <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever noticed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, a remake of Funhouse and uh, watch Boy Towards TV. What? Watch Boy Towards TV. So me the whole. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go back. No, one wants to see me. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Funhouse. That'd be cool, for, cool for thumbnail, anyways. Um, no, it ends up being like uh, the show Big Brother, kind of. We're like, um, well, these people were drugged, right? Or th right. they said, and they had a. Uh, uh, it was like a deposit of a hundred thousand dollars. They all had to put up or marriage, and it was like people like influencers, MMA fighter, singer, uh, you know, a guy who was famous for and reality stars and stuff like that. And they're all put in this one house, <coughs> and there's a bar there, and it says like after three days, you know, they'll have, everyone will vote, and whoever gets uh. Guess the least amount of votes would get voted off, or they have to leave. And then if it's like in one percent of each other, the the last two people have to uh, do a challenge or whatever. Well, everything everything's nice and good. Everyone's getting along, you know, you know, for the most part. And the first uh, that one first lady was supposed to go, and um, she was in something called Crazy uh, Crazy Pinata. And, you know, they still showed like pinata and they showed like her hand blindfold and then getting a bat. They were going to give her a bat to these helpers and stuff. And they went off with a bat and then they took away and they lowered down the other guy that was in uh, last place. And they found out that it was like she, she was going to use the, him like a piano. She was going to kill the guy. She didn't know. And then after that, they found out that this place was just a death trap and stuff. And uh, most people are going to die. And it's like broadcast all over the world. You see these people talk about comment. There's this guy that um, who does like after like a death. He does like this uh, recap type thing. Very smart ass. Like a Ryan Reynolds type guy. And uh, I didn't know it was. I was. I didn't know if it would be good or be bad. But it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, a little anticlimactic, but it was good. And then at the, at the very end. There's an end credit shot. Ever since the bar, I mean, like he said, ever since I saw Strange Brew, you know, when you saw the end of credits, like, all these people, I'll never forget what they said, uh, all the people staying in the theater, you're watching all this free stuff, now everyone else left it, and they're going home, and they're missing all this other part of the movie. But people usually leave during the credits. I never did. People get, I know, I be with my sister being pissed off because I want to watch their credits. And now, I mean, like, they, I mean, I think my sister did it with one, uh, Ant Man Wasp woman. I mean, because she, she said there's still more stuff. So yeah, they, there's end credits at Marvel movies, too. I would, you know, John, I usually stay towards the end of credits, and there's an end credits scene on this one. Um, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, only if I can make it at the very end. I mean, I give it like an 8 out of 10. It's, I thought it was funnier, better than I thought it was. And one of the Scars guards. Yeah, I think he's the youngest vulture. Youngest vulture. Was in it too. I mean, he played. Well, he's born in nineteen ninety five. Wow, I yeah, graduated right. in eighty seven. Right, May of eighty seven. Um, and so did John. Uh no, I really enjoyed the movie. I give it eight out of ten. Yeah, uh, being uh like inspired by Funhouse is probably more like Videodrome and yeah, a lot of other ones where it's like where they have these contests to stay alive, whether it's Death Race two thousand or uh like modern stuff like yeah. um. Squid Games or yeah. uh, what's the other one that's like that? Oh, okay. uh, Alice in Borderland. Yeah, you know stuff like that, or Hunger Games. Yeah, those type of things. Yeah, so, but yeah, it was all right. 
It's worth yeah, watching. I, th I thought it was very good. I mean, it more... I didn't know. I mean, you know, it started out so so and then it could probably get boring, but it did get boring. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, with a little th uh, bit of saw thrown in there. Yeah, a little bit of saw thrown in there, and then or and seven in a little way too. Um, and it also there, it's it's funny how ridiculous it is. Like, I mean, you know, they're getting away with all this stuff, and uh, people are still watching and stuff like that. You know, it's it's very entertaining. And then you see like the people who are watching it. And you get to know them a little bit too, and there's no, you know, there's barely any backstory with those people, you know. Um, I liked it, so I guess that's it for cool. me and Jay John. So hope you like this review of Funhouse 2019, not the Toby Hooper Funhouse, which is classic from '82. I know Gene Siskel was a big fan of that movie, believe it or not. You always think Siskel and Eber hate horror films, but Gene Siskel was a, a huge fan of it. So hope you like this review, everybody. Till next time, please take care of my legion. Awesome.